Hi, I'm Karis Williams. I'm an artist, designer and fabricator and member of the ESAB elite team of welding influencers. Whatever you're welding, cutting, gouging or grinding, you always need to be committed to safety, not just you, but also the people around you. We at ESAB want to ensure you're as protected as you are productive. In this new ESAB Arc Chat series, I'm going to highlight how you can set up your work environment for maximum safety and remind you of the full range of PPE and other tools to help keep you safe while working. Anyone who's going to be welding should really be aware of the people around them, their clothing, their immediate surroundings and the equipment they're using. In welding and cutting, various hazards are well known, as are the protective measures you should take. Every time before you weld or cut, run through a safety checklist. Here is what I feel are the more important items that should be on that list. Appropriate clothing, suitable welding helmet and PAPR, a clean work area, suitable fire extinguisher, good ventilation and clean air. Check the fume extraction filters, welding screens, check your equipment, check any gas cylinders. Proper and protective clothing starts with flame resistant material. Either complete ESAB coveralls or separate jacket and trousers like these. These are all flame retardant and perfect clothing for welding and cutting. Also ensure you have a good pair of steel toe cap work boots. Make sure the collar and cuffs on your jacket or coverall is nice and tight to protect your neck, wrists and arms. Also, the top of your head is exposed. If you don't like the smell of singed red hair like mine, do what I do and wear a welding cap or bandana. ESAB has a wide selection of gloves and gauntlets for various welding disciplines. Make sure you wear the right gauntlets for the right process and please wear both of your gloves on both of your hands. Also, if you're working in a heavy industrial setting, ESAB has a wide range of specialised PPE, including spats, aprons and gaiters. Your eyes are precious assets, so treat them with care and always ensure you're wearing safety glasses in the workplace. You also need to consider the people around you and their protection. So if you're in an area where you're not alone and people may come in, make sure you have suitable welding screens to protect them from arc flash. After your welding machine, a good welding helmet is the most essential bit of kit for every operator. Welding helmets protect the wearer against harmful UV and infrared rays, sparks and flying particles. ESAB has a broad portfolio of welding helmets for all levels of users, from beginner and recreational welders to professional welders and those requiring a high specification multi-process helmet. Make sure you check back in for the next Arc Chat episode where I'll be talking about selecting the best welding helmet for your needs. A cluttered work area is an accident waiting to happen and I won't be clearing it up for you. Okay, so start removing any trip hazards such as welding cables and power cords. Keep your tools and materials organised so they won't fall. Remove any paper items like your cup of tea, oily rags, lubricants, solvents and other flammable materials. Speaking of flammable materials, make sure you have a suitable fire extinguisher nearby. It is important to protect yourself in the working environment from fume and dust while welding, cutting, gouging or grinding. Depending on your setup area, this may mean using additional ventilation equipment to ensure proper airflow. One good solution would be a welding helmet fitted with a PAPR, which means powered air purifying respirator. My favourite is the Sentinel A50, which feeds clean air directly into the helmet as you're welding. Other solutions could be local extraction units like this portable carry vac or the ESAB unit that looks like a robot behind me. <laughs> and don't forget to regularly check and replace filters when needed. Checking your equipment is also a priority. For example, check your cables. Check your cables are not frayed or damaged. If the cable insulation is cut, throw the cable away. If the connection at the clamp is frayed, recrimp it using the proper tools to replace it. If you have gas cylinders, keep them securely chained at all times. Check the condition of your gas hoses, fittings and regulators as well. Once you get into the habit of a good safety routine, it goes quickly. Remember that safety is everyone's responsibility. 
We want to keep you safe and watch out for your mates as well. Make sure you stay safe, folks. See you soon.